Hey, internet friends, this is Ryan. This is Demos in the Dark, and it is cold as hell in Minneapolis, which means we must be coming to the end of the year. Um, in 2019, I demoed 86 effect pedals on my own channel as well as for Mass Distro. It's about one and a half a week. And while that's a lot of pedals, um, certainly wasn't every pedal that was released in 2019. So Keep in mind that this list here is a list of my favorites that I demoed. The greatest pedal the world has ever seen could have been released in 2019. And if I didn't try it, I don't know. Also, keep in mind that lists are bullshit. So why am I doing one? Because it's fun bullshit. It's incredibly fun bullshit. If this is your first time checking out the channel, I demo gear, and I go off on strange tangents, and I do it in the dark. That is pretty much the gist of what's going on here. Um, I demo gear from builders you've heard of, but equally as important, I demo gear from builders you might not have heard of. And this gives you an opportunity to support small builders from all over the world, really. I get stuff from all over the world. If you're passionate about gear from builders big and small, and you don't mind the rantings of a madman sitting alone in the dark, talking to a camera, uh, then hit that subscribe button and the little bell guy next to it. You belong here. Now onto the list. This list is in no particular order. I did, however, separate fuzz and not fuzz because that's how I view the world. First one I'm going to touch on is one that I didn't demo because there are a billion incredible demos out there, uh, but I did do a lot of Instagram post uh, videos about it, and it is this, the Empress Effects Zoya. Um, I remember asking my friend Ian, kind of, well, he was beta testing one of these. I'm like, what is it? And he was like, the question is more, what isn't it? It's a modular effects pedal. There's community source patches on the internet. You can make your own insane patches. Like the, kind of like the, the limits of this thing are pretty endless. And uh, it, to not have this be on the list would have been completely bonkers because this is completely bonkers. We have the Outward V2 by Cooper FX. I could try to explain what this does using a lot of lingo that makes it sound like I know what I'm talking about, but that would be a lie. Basically, my understanding is that it records your guitar or synth or whatever you're feeding into it and then spits it back to you in really strange and amazing ways. I haven't wrapped my head around it, I don't anticipate that I ever will, and that's the best thing about it.
Next up on the list, we have the GFI Synesthesia. Synesthesia. Uh, this is a dual channel modulation pedal, and every patch on it sounds amazing. I've had my hands on plenty of multi-effect mod pedals, and, you know, it's like, it's good enough to, to use on the road. You wouldn't dare use it in the studio, but, you know, everything's in a nice spot, so you put it on your board and you use it. Um, this, <laughs> I have used this in the studio already. It is just absolutely stunning. It's a great pedal. Let's watch the video. Next up, we have the Pinebox Customs Sirens. This is a chorus effect that has a drive channel in it. Um, it's very lo-fi, very cool sounding. The thing I really like about it is the drive channel on it sounds more like tape saturation than it does like a traditional drive channel. And so it really gives you that kind of like worn out tape sound. Really, really impressive, really great. Here's a sample. And we have the Alexander Pedals Radical Delay DX. This is the newest version, the Neo series version. I think they've had like five Radical Delays at this point. Um, so it's Neo, so it has you know five different modes. It has ramping, it has tap, it has presets, it has MIDI, it has all that stuff, and everything sounds so good. Uh, it has super wild stuff that you're like, man, I have no idea how I like what I would ever use this for. And then it has stuff that you could absolutely use on like a contemporary pop record or a jingle. Next, we have the Spaceman Polaris Resonant Overdrive. So this is an overdrive that has a filter on it, and you can dial in as much or as little of that filter as you want to. You can change the depth. Basically, you can dial in whatever kind of overdrive sound that you want with this pedal, and it sounds brilliant. It is absolutely one of my favorites. <laughs>
This one was a little bit of a surprise to me. Uh, it's the Farm Pedals Fly Agaric Phaser. Uh, this is super rare behavior for me, but I saw someone else demo this pedal, and I sent Jeff a text message, and I was like, send me one. Send me one. I will I'll send it back. I'll pay for shipping. I'll do whatever. Just send it to me because I need to try this pedal. Thankfully, it, it's still here. Uh, I put Velcro on it immediately, and it's been on my board ever since. But this is a four-stage phaser. It's a two four-stage phasers, and you blend them together. And uh, honestly, it's a four-stage phaser, but it is the best-sounding Univibe that I have heard in a long time. It is super good. I'm really into it. I tell everybody I know about it. This guy, Greer Amps Soma 63, it's a vintage style preamp, uh, brown face style, uh, has its own transformer in there, a little tiny transformer. Yeah, man, it is thick, it is rich, it is absolutely a mind-blowing preamp pedal. It is just like, it's one of the best of the year. About this time in 2018, Champion Lecky sent around this just mess of a prototype. I mean, it was, uh, it was something. But plugged it in, and I was like, what is this? And I started just recording stuff right away. And just ideas were just flowing. Like, uh, they were just coming. And I, I emailed, and I was like, I need whatever that is. Whatever that thing is that you sent me, I need it. Um, and it was the Woozy. So it's a lo-fi modulator. It has a bunch of different waveforms. Uh, it has some delay in there. It can kind of give you some reverb sounds. It can sound really beautiful and pretty, and it can sound really gross and pretty. Um, Man, I just I love this thing. This is such a great pedal. Electro Foods Eye of Raw. Uh, this is a distortion pedal. And when they told me they were sending it, I was like, cool, yeah, distortion pedal, whatever. And I got it and I plugged it in. I was like, whoa, holy crap. Like you can dial in 
pretty much any kind of distortion sound that you want to with this thing, it is kind of like the end all be all distortion. Can I say that? It's the end all be all distortion pedal for 2019 that I tried. We are going to move on to the fuzzes. It is no secret that I love fuzz pedals. I love the technology behind it, which is old and gross. And I love the complexity of it. I love the squishiness of it. I love the grittiness of it. I love everything about fuzz. I just do. We're going to start with the ear fuzz buzz around. This guy lives in my home state. I had no idea. Um, he lives north of me and this buzz around has vintage NTK transistors in it. It's hand wired. It looks freaking amazing. And, uh, here, let's just listen to it. If you like Big Muffs, you are familiar with Running Cup. You've had a few. In 2019, they came out with the De La Riva. It is every Big Muff that has ever existed. It is Big Muffs that have yet to exist. With these toggle switches here, I, I don't remember what Matt said. You can dial in like thousands upon thousands of different variations of the Big Muff. So... If you're into Big Muff, um, here's all of them. My favorite people I met in 2019 was my friend Alec from Mask Audio Electronics. We hung out in Nashville at Summer Nam. And one of the pedals that he put out this year was the No. And it is an octave fuzz pedal. It is an octave fuzz pedal, unlike any other octave fuzz pedal that I've tried. Uh, it's completely weird and gross and awesome. And I love every note I play through this thing. Leon 
over at Pelican Noise Works put out another version of the Pelotar. This one he did with Spruce FX. It is the Germanium version. It's the version 2 Germanium Pelotar. Uh, you know, the Pelotar is a truly unique fuzz circuit, or two circuits. And in this case, it's actually three circuits because it has the treble booster on it. The way you mix them together, the control sets, and everything like that, and the fact that it looks like a freaking clone, uh, you know, it is a absolutely unique thing. And I just, not having this on the list, it would have been nuts. <laughs> David Ranger at Ranger Effects makes some of the wildest pedals on the market, and I don't know how to use most of them, but I do know how to use his fuzzes. And the Dr. Freakenstein Chop Fuzz, I was super anxious about. Used it at NAMM, couldn't wait to get my hands on one. This is just the coolest, sputtery, choppy, amazing fuzz, and it has an eyeball on it that blinks. Like, that's... Game over. Thank you. Thank you guys for 2019. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting. 2020, almost there. I can't wait to see what we get.